Now, as complicated as this may seem, disconnect from the carabiner. Right? Now I'm just on the ID. Handle center is just hanging on the rope, right? It's not doing anything, not holding anything. Typically, it doesn't matter, but I'll take and put this double through the cam just to keep it out of the way, right? It's a pretty nice package. There. Your gear loop, right? This is following me now. The ID I've got here over the flange, hand on my hip. I actually go right across the harness uh, and, and hold it there. And then that's the anti pan. Clip. That's the anti pan. I can't go too fast. It's just going to, you know, do this forever. Now, if I get a nice smooth place, right, it's a really easy rappel down on the ground. So that is how you get up and down between, you know, places. It wouldn't be how I would, if I had to ascend uh, 200 feet to a, you know, job site. If I was already in a wind turbine, climb the stairs, Went up the call, set up my anchors, started rappelling down, right? Then I would get to that place where I'm working, work there, oh, I need to go up. So right now I'm on this system, right? Hanging on the ropes, doing my work. I'm like, oh, I, you know, I need to be 10 feet higher. I thought I would da 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 da, whatever. And so now I'm going to attach that handle of sender. Because right now I'm just sort of hanging in space. Right? Then I'm going to take this. I'm ready to go again. So then, then I ascend my 10 feet, take this step off, work there. If I need to go a little higher, I put it back on. But if I need to go back down, I'm in that descent mode, hanging on my harness. Um, and so that's basically how those guys would typically work.